Hello, I'm Dr. Karen Wiedekin. I'm an animal nutritionist at Novus International Incorporated. My primary research interests have been in the area of trace minerals, and I've been working in this area approximately 25 years, including my graduate research. It is my pleasure today to introduce to you a publication that will soon be published in Open Access Animal Physiology Journal. And the title of that paper is Efficacy of an Equine Joint Supplement and the Synergistic Effect of its Active Ingredients, Chelated Trace Minerals, and Natural Eggshell Membrane, as demonstrated in equine, swine, and an osteoarthritis rat model. The topic of our paper was uh, the evaluation of an equine nutraceutical joint supplement. And not only did we evaluate the efficacy of the supplement itself, but we also evaluated the efficacy of its active components, which included natural eggshell membrane and chelated trace minerals. And we looked at, the, at these components both singly and in combination. And the efficacy of the supplement or its components were evaluated in three different animal lameness models. The first animal lameness model was a naturally occurring uh, geriatric osteoarthritic course population. The second model was a chemically induced rat osteoarthritic model. And the chemical that we used to induce arthritis was monoiodoacetate. And then the third model was a prevention model involving swine. In this swine research study, um, the studies were conducted at a twin sister farm. And what we mean by that is that the same, um, the farm was under the same management and the same feed mill provided the feed to both of those farms. So the diets were identical between the two farms. The only differences between the diets was a source of trace minerals. In the first farm, the minerals were provided by in the form of inorganic trace minerals in the form of oxides and sulfates. And in the second farm, the trace minerals were, were provided by a 50-50 blend, and including both inorganic trace minerals as well as chelated trace minerals, which were provided um, by the product Nitrex, both zinc, copper, and manganese. Now for both of these farms, there were 6,400 sows and gilts uh, approximately, in, and they were followed through multiple parodies or pregnancies, and this study was three year uh, long in duration. The uh, primary measurements in that sow study was looking at sow removal rate, uh, and, and as well as looking at the reasons for the removal. And one thing that you should know in, uh, in the live, in the swine industry, one of the biggest causes or one of the biggest costs is maintaining the reproductive herd. And there are two main reasons for removal of sows. The first primary reason is inability to breed or reproductive issues. And the second major cause of sow removal is due to lameness. So what we evaluated in this sow study was the uh, ability or efficacy of the chelated trace minerals in potentially reducing sow removal rate. So you may be asking, why would we want to combine three different animal models in one paper when we probably could have you know, written three separate papers in isolation? Well, there's a lot of um, difficulty in doing lameness studies. For example, in naturally occurring osteoarthritic populations, the progression of the disease and the severity of the disease is variable, and this variability makes it hard to show significant differences. And conversely, in a chemically induced or surgically induced arthritis uh, model, that, uh, that the severity of the arthritis and the progression is rapid. So it's very difficult to show efficacy of a nutraceutical in a either surgically induced or chemically induced rapid arthritis model. And then probably the hardest of the three is, is demonstrating prevention of lameness because that requires large animal numbers and um, following these animals through multiple parodies and it can be very expensive to do those type of trials. But by combining those three studies, what we were able to demonstrate is the importance of providing trace minerals in a chelated, highly bioavailable form. And what we were able to show from those three studies is efficacy both in the prevention and treatment of arthritis.